Today we are going to do an interesting activity of making a pizza. We are not going to actually make bake a pizza but we are going to make it using colorful sheets of paper and uh, for this we need colored uh, pieces of paper and actually exactly circular pieces. So I have it here for you different colors like white, black, green, yellow, red, pink and why I have used these specific colors because I needed some specific in ingredients for a pizza. You know that there are a variety of pizzas available in the market. Some have more of cheese, some have more of olives, some have more of capsicum. So I asked my friend which is the most delicious pizza out of all. So she told me that uh, tomato, onion and sweet corn pizza is the most delicious out of it because it gives a real nice yummy taste so I asked her can you help me with the recipe she said yes she gave me this recipe let me share with you now the recipe for this tomato onion sweet corn pizza is that we need uh, one eighth part olive two out of eight parts onion one out of eight parts capsicum two out of eight parts sweet corn and two out of eight parts tomatoes so all needs to be nicely cut into pieces and then we can prepare a pizza so for this pizza basically first of all we need to know that uh, since it's a fraction pizza what is the most important point about fractions basically fractions means equal parts basically it has to be divided exactly equally and when we order pizza in the market also it has equal parts either four equal parts six equal parts or so on so how do we make a circle into equal eight halves so for that let me show you how to exactly divide a circle into eight parts what do we do let me show you here i'll take one uh, sheet i'll take one olive sheet here olives are back let me show you how to divide it into exactly eight parts first of all we are going to cut divide it into half exact eight, half by folding it half then one fourth folding it once again exactly matching and it is one fourth so we get four parts let me see show you there are four parts and now once more after making it into exactly eight parts let me open and show it to you that how many parts do we have now you can see here we have one two three four five six seven eight and all are exactly similar now since this is a dark color let me show you with a lighter colored sheet i have taken this pink sheet i folded it into half so i've drawn a light line here half then i folded it again into one fourth and then i folded it once again and once again so i have eight equal parts and to show the parts equal are there and very carefully I've drawn the lines on the folds on each fold I've drawn line using pencil and scale so let us count we have got exactly eight equal parts one two three four five six seven and eight so eight equal parts why because she had given me the recipe like this only she wanted that in that pizza it should be one eighth part olive so let me have the pizza base pizza base means uh, the bread on which you prepare the pizza so let me have this tomato onion sweet corn pizza and let me have this pizza base and let me share the recipe with you also so that you can remember the recipe what was the recipe the recipe said that we need one eighth part olive so here is the base and now how do we get one eighth part olive we have seen I've drawn the olives on this and I folded this sheet into eight equal parts now let me cut one eighth out of it one piece out of it so it will be one eighth so let me cut So 
So in our pizza, we have got the olive, which is one eighth part. So we'll use it here. Now what else do we need? We need onion and two parts of onion we need. So let me fold what is the trick how to get equal parts in any circle. We need to fold it once to make it half equally. Then we need, we need to fold it again to make it one fourth equally. And then we need to fold it. Make sure that you fold it nicely. Now this is four parts. And then one more part we are going to fold it and we'll get eight parts. Let me show you. We've got eight parts and we are going I'm going to cut it. Now for this pizza we need two parts. So let me cut two parts out of it. Just a minute. Since I can see the fold very nicely here, so I'm cutting it here straight away. So we have a one part, one out of eight part here, and we need one more because we need two out of eight parts as and for onion. So we have got two parts. Let me place it here. Now, what else do we need? We need capsicum. So for capsicum, I've drawn taken a green sheet, and let me cut this again. I'll go. I have folded it into eight equal parts. There are eight equal parts here and we need for capsicum one part so i'm going to cut one sheet out of it one piece of capsicum out of the eight pieces here we go now what else do we need we need two parts of sweet corn so i've chosen yellow color for sweet corn again i'm going to divide this into half one more half that is one fourth of the circle and one more fold that will give us the one eighth of the circle so let me open it and we need sweet corn two parts so i'm going to cut two parts out of it to get two parts for this interesting pizza yeah and what else do we need what is left is tomatoes see we are getting an interesting pizza made already I have uh, here let me arrange it also nicely so that it looks also tempting we need tomatoes so tomatoes I can add it like this it will look good one part of tomato here one part of tomato here now, I, I've just kept it like this but uh, I'll show you that they are exactly same equal parts also because why are they equal because I took the basic shape to be exactly same same size circles I have taken so I'll get exactly same equal fractions for each every flavor the ingredients are exactly the proportion will be exactly as per the recipe and I'll get a very delicious pizza made out of it so here we go and here is my pizza complete isn't it yummy looking see exactly eight parts eight equal parts and with fevicol when I'll paste it you can see that it is coming out to be exactly it fits exactly on the sheet it will not overlap and it will fit exactly so this is how we have made an interesting onion olive capsicum pizza we have one part onion let us revise are we correct with the recipe we have one part olive we have two parts onion pink color then we have one part capsicum then we have two parts sweet corn yellow color and I in two parts tomato red color so our pizza is delicious and ready and complete so what have we learned out of this activity we have learned that fraction is basically exactly equal parts and to prepare this pizza what do we need we need different colored sheets all cut into circles 
and we have very well understood how to divide the circles into exactly eight equal parts and we can try other flavors of pizzas also it depends on your preference if you want more of a cheese or more of tomato in it you can prepare your own pizza you just have to mention the recipe clearly i hope you enjoyed it and you will definitely prepare a delicious pizza out of these beautiful colored sheets thank you